The following video is sponsored by MobileMaddenCoins.com. If you're looking for Madden coins on any console or platform, be sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team Budget Series episode. And guys, it's been a little while since I've done one of these videos. There's been a couple of different reasons for that. One of the main reasons is because I've really wanted to wait until some of these cards actually kind of really, you know, settle down in price. Because I feel like a, a lot of times when we're doing this at the beginning of the year, we're, end up, we're using cards that are really only going to work for like a couple of weeks. I actually think that the ones that are in this video, though, are going to last us for quite some time. So I hope that you guys will learn something from this video. And if at any point you guys have any questions or anything, be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below or go ahead and tweet me at ClickwoodTV and I'll do my best to respond to those. And I also want to know, guys, if you would let me know uh, what position do you guys want to see next we've done quarterback running back wide receiver uh cornerback so now we're doing tight ends today and I, like i said i think these ones are going to do some uh some pretty good work for you guys if you if you pay attention to the things that i'm talking about and use them in the right way so uh with that being said guys please do me a favor and drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new and with that said let's hop into it and let's start taking a look at the top tight ends for budgets here at this point in the season in Madden 17 Ultimate Team. So the first one that we're going to be taking a look at here, guys, is on the left side of your screen, Jordan Reed. This is a gold card, 81 overall. And we're going to be comparing it to an 89 overall flashback Martellus Bennett. Now, the first thing that I want to point out here is that, I'm again, guys, like always, I'm certainly not saying that the card on the left is necessarily better than the card on the right. But what we're trying to do is find kind of a good card that you can get that's going to be at least comparable to some of the better tight ends in the game uh, for a much cheaper price. So you see on your screen, obviously, Jordan Reed is 3,000 coins. Martellus Bennett's going for more like 85,000 coins. Now, obviously, Martellus Bennett is a limited edition flashback type card. It's not really something that's easy to acquire. So that's why it's a little bit more priced than it otherwise would be. But even if it wasn't a flashback card, these type of attributes on a card would typically get you somewhere around 50 to 60 thousand coins and I'm not really sure that it's necessarily worth it to spend that much when you can get somebody like a Jordan Reed who's going to be not maybe not quite as good but definitely as good in a lot of things and almost as good in most things so if you take a look at the attributes here you see that everything that's in red it means that that card is actually going to be lower than the other one if it's green it means it's higher and if it's yellow that means that they're the same so Pretty simple key to follow there. But again, guys, the card on the left is quite a bit cheaper, but it's still actually better in a couple different areas than Martellus Bennett. The Jordan Reed is a little bit faster with 82 or 83 speed, excuse me, and it also has 88 catching. Now, it's a little bit lower in some of the actual pass catching attributes if you look at things like spectacular catch, uh, release, things like that. But it does actually destroy Martellus Bennett in one key area, and that's route running. Route running is actually very important for tight ends. A lot of times you're going up against, you know, linebackers or even getting lined up against safeties or depth cornerbacks, depending on where you're putting them on the field. And your route running can do serious damage against those linebackers, the slower cornerbacks, things like that. You can really, really destroy them in man coverage with nice route running. So I definitely like that about this Jordan Reed card. It has 86 for her route running. That is a huge attribute. Like I said, it's a little bit lower in things like release and spectacular catch. It's jumping is quite a bit lower with only an 84. But again, it does such a great job in those uh, with the route running. And then if you add that in combination with the speed... You can really create some big separation with Jordan Reed on things like, you know, drag routes or slant routes or uh, post routes, things like that. You can really do some damage against defenses if you have this card. Now, Martellus Bennett, again, does have, like I said, some big advantages. It's a little bit taller at six foot six as opposed to six foot three. It also has much better jumping. It's also a much better run blocker. So we're not going to be talking about Jordan Reed being good at run blocking. I think he does an acceptable job for the most part at this point in the game, but as the game goes on and we start to see defensive players be better and better, this card's not going to be quite 
you know, quite good enough to be a run blocker, I would say, or a primary run blocker, at least on running plays. So you'll want to keep that in mind. But for pass catching, this Jordan Reed is very, very good. And like I said, it's 3,000 coins. So very, very nice price on it. Try it out. See if you like it. If you don't, you can always sell it and you'll barely lose any coins. So it's a, it's a good thing to try out, I think. The second set of tight ends that we want to take a look at today, uh, this is a little bit higher budget. Now, not not everybody can afford 35,000 coins for a tight end, but for those of us who can and are still looking to, you know, not spend hundreds of thousands of coins on a tight end, I actually think this this elite Greg Olson is a very good option. Uh, you take a look at the attributes that it has, that it's better than the Rob Gronkowski in. We're talking about speed. We're talking about the acceleration being the same. Uh, we're talking about it having better catching and better route running than Rob Gronkowski. And it's actually quite close in a lot of other things it's only one lower in catching traffic one lower in spectacular catch and he's only one inch shorter so i mean from a pure receiving standpoint you could make a case that greg olson is better than rob gronkowski gronk doesn't really destroy him at anything the only thing that he's substantially better in is release and for the most part release doesn't really matter for tight ends because it it really is the only thing that uh the only thing that determines release is actually when you get pressed so if you're not getting pressed, which tight ends, I don't believe can be pressed off the line if you have them, you know, at the end of your line in this game. So if they're not getting pressed, then release doesn't even matter at all. Now, if you set them out wide and put them at wide receiver, then of course they can be pressed. But even still, 88 and 92 for release is going to be substantially higher than you have for most wide receivers. So you really don't typically want to actually press a tight end with a cornerback or a safety. So uh, you know, keep that in mind, obviously, when when you're playing either on offense or defense. That's a that's a pretty important tip. But the, the big thing, obviously, that Rob Gronkowski kind of destroys Greg Olson in is run blocking, just like we saw in the last screen with, with uh, Jordan Reed. Rob Gronkowski is one of the best blocking tight ends in this game. Incredible with an 86 run block. I mean, that's offensive lineman type attributes there. So he is going to do some serious damage as a run blocker. But if we're talking about pure pass catching, I would argue that Rob, that Rob Gronkowski is actually not as good as Greg Olson. So you guys will have to let me know. Try these cards out. See what you think. I actually really like this Greg Olson. I did have a chance to use it. And uh, I've gotten it in Draft Champions quite a few times. So it's definitely a really nice card to use. And I, I think it's definitely worth that 35,000 coin price. If you, Especially if you compare it considering Gronkowski. You're basically paying for better run blocking. And you're paying 230,000 coins more. Like, it's just ridiculous, I think, to, to pay that kind of a price for Rob Gronkowski. Even though, yes, it is Gronk. And yes, Gronk is the best tight end of all time, in my opinion. But in terms of this game, I just don't think that card is worth it. So the last set of tight ends that I want to compare today, guys, are ones that are more specifically for run blocking. So... If you are going to be running the ball, especially at the goal line, and you're running like an, an ace set where you have two tight ends on the field, and you want to run toward one of the sides, I think that the card on your left here, Craig Stevens, is a really, really good option. It's super, super cheap. 1,500 coins. Now, it's not a great receiver. It doesn't have great receiving attributes at all. It does have 80 speed and 85 acceleration, which is actually decent, uh, but like things like the catching, the catching traffic, spec catch, all that stuff is pretty much garbage. You don't really want to use this card in the receiving game unless he's just wide open like if somebody you know blitzes or something like that and he's in uh single coverage in man coverage or something he can probably do an okay job or you know if they run commit or something obviously you can throw him the ball but i i really wouldn't use him as a primary receiver i think that you want to use this guy as basically a third tackle on the field um you, you know an offensive lineman a third offensive tackle and i think that whatever side that you put him on you can run to and he's going to do an excellent job you look at the 85 run blocking with 79 strength he also has a 79 for impact block as well so he can actually knock cornerbacks and safeties and even linebackers right on their ass and he's going to you know create those huge gaps on the edge uh, or inside between the the tackle and the tight end he's going to do a really good job and you're going to be able to break off for big runs running behind craig stevens he's one of the best guys in the game for doing that and like i said he's super super cheap you can put him on your mutt squad and you can you know have him as a third or even like a fourth tight end if you want to and just put him out there situationally and he's going to do a really good job and you know obviously we're comparing him here to a jeremy shockey who is he's a very good run blocking tight end he's obviously quite 
highly priced because he's both a good receiving tight end and a good blocking tight end. But if you're just looking for a pure blocker, I actually really think that Craig Stevens is a really good option and you should try him out. So you guys will have to let me know in the comments section below. What do you think about this? Uh, are there any other cards at tight end that you guys would recommend? And let me know, obviously, too, uh, what you like that card for. Is it because he's a good receiver? Is it because he's a good blocker? Is it because he's balanced? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks again, guys. Hope you learned something. If you did, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And let me know again, guys, in the comments section what position you want to see next. Thanks, guys, and have a good rest of the day.